Hello there, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to continue with Mitsubishi FR E700 series drive where we're going to be setting up the drive today in remote mode using multi-frequency. And before we go ahead, if you are new to the channel and like what we're doing here and you would like to support us, please click that subscribe and that notification button because we are going to be uploading videos on a weekly basis where you and definitely me can possibly learn something new in industrial automations. So without further ado, let's crack on. Righty, now that we have all wired up and there is quite a bit actually, I will actually talk you through how the whole uh, multi-frequency system work and what can you do and what sort of options it can have. Uh, the first thing you need to do when you uh, go into multi-frequency mode, you have to remove potentiometer from here. That has to be removed so it's gone out, out of the way. And the next step we need to do is obviously run uh, run all the cables into RL, RM and RH. I'll quickly show you in a minute how that wiring works. And as it's usually uh, in this for this uh, uh, setup, I am using a... Uh, uh, button system because uh, purely I'm going to show you something that is pretty cool what you can do with it and so it's also to explain you how the uh, extra multi frequency passed the, the first three uh, multi frequencies they already have preset in here and I'm not sure you can see in here works because you can have not just uh, four or three you can have all the way up to 15 different uh, frequencies and I will actually show you as well how can you do that because it's mainly due to combination of RL, RM and RH. So uh, and another thing is is what you need to do when you want to operate any of the uh, preset speeds I would say you must activate uh, the STF or STR whichever way you're going to want that drive to go. So you sort of have to initiate that signal so uh, without further ado I'm going to show you how I set it up and we, which is pretty much the same method where, uh, it, where we used in the last video which was a three wire setup the only thing what I did I reprogrammed some uh, uh, some inputs to help me out with that so let me zoom in properly and I will uh, show you how that's done so for the start signal uh, to be able to uh, enable the start signal for the multi-frequency what I did I went to a uh, a parameter all the way to 184 if you remember from my last video what then what we can do we can reassign the uh, uh, what the inputs are so I have uh, changed uh, 184 which is that this one it just get a little bit down on it which is the this one down there which says RES I reprogrammed down from reset to do me uh, to allow me to do the stop so uh, basically, uh, I have run the run the same three wire system for MSTF to RES, and how we done that, you can actually look at it in a previous video, which sort of explain how the three wire system works. But this way, it enable it allows me to enable the drive because you can see down there 25. As remember from last video, was was the stop signal. Uh, allows me to enable the drive by start stop signals down here, and I'm sort of going to show you some cool stuff you can do with it. And the, the, the way we really works, as you can see now, I can show you in the, in the buttons. Now that I'm remote, this is my, my start stop part of it. So when I click start, as you can see, the run signal now flashes. And that's because it's, it, because it's, 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 it's flashing now. So sort of looking at what, so what, what do you want me to do. So by clicking any of the frequencies, this could be anything. Select a switch or buttons, whatever. But usually we have that uh, as a select a switch. So by selecting a switch, as you can see, the drive goes to the designated the high frequency, which is a frequency three. And by letting it go, you can select that one switch, and it will go to twenty nine. And by selecting that switch, it will go to frequency ten. And that basically, the wiring is is is, is the same from the last video. You've seen how the three wire system works, but it all it does in here. If you send the, the SD signal to the to the normally closed part in here and just sort of distribute all the way to all the all the buttons that will be sending signals back to RL, RM and RH. That's simply all it is. It's not really not really down there. Not not too, not too much to it. It's just the part this part of the the, the signal which I'm gonna run through you again is uh, 
The, the S, uh, SD will come here, go through the stuff. Stop will go back to RES, the one we reprogrammed. And then from the uh, outside, uh, part, uh, outside of the uh, stop, so it's going to go to the start signal. And start signal will send back the signal to SDF. And that way it will latch the whole system in. But how about how can you have more frequencies to have it? That's where the fun part comes in. You can actually, let me just, uh, if I stop that one now. As you can see, without the enable signal, none of these frequencies will work. So you sort of need to put the drive into run mode, so and then select whatever frequency you want to do. Just in case you have selected this frequency on a selector switch down here, and you click the start, it will just simply go to that frequency, and then you can pretty much keep it on there at all times. The start stop, basic start stop through wire system will work when it work on that frequency, and that is pretty much uh, how that works. But how can you get uh, the frequency 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and it goes all the way to 14 to do that you need to change it you need to change some parameters which are I am going to show you how they work they are in a, in a sets of uh, I starts all the way from 24 let's go for 24 starting from 24 oh click the wrong button let's just go back in there mode 24 set as you can see down there is 999 999 means it's, it's, it doesn't work it's not going to be working so you sort of have to uh, give him uh, give him the what frequency do you want to be if it stands on 999 if you do click those buttons whatever the way it is it will not be working so let's say let's say we're going to set this frequency to uh, obviously in a reasonable matter reasonable place Let's say we set the frequency to 25. Let's give it to 25. Why not? So 25. Save that one. And that frequency now we set for frequency 5. And how that how that works, let me go grab the paperwork and I quickly show you the, how that works in the manual. The way it works, if you look at this uh, little graph, the Mitsubishi, or you can find that in the Mitsubishi uh, manual, it says, is it visible? Yeah. It says to get speed 4, you need to select RM or RL together. If those two are selected together, you will get speed 4. Let's say we want to go to speed 5. If you go to speed 5, you need to select RH and RL together, and you will get that speed 5. And so on, as you can see down there, all sorts of combinations can be done to achieve all the necessary speeds. So that's how you do multi speed. Let's demonstrate how that works in the real life. Uh, just put down the floor now. And again, oop. if we select enable our, oh, we need to leave, go into external mode, don't forget that. Enable our drive, drive is on, so let's select which one do we use? I think it's these these two were speed 4. As you can see, you know, that was, uh, that, that's 25 hertz now. So, by, so again, you can, that would be done on the selector switch so uh, you can see down that like that that would be done as some sort of selector switch this is this or the PLC or whatever you want to use so if you do that as you can see we pre I preset that before to 44 Hertz so pretty much that's how the combination of the system works so uh, that's how pretty much you get all the multi speeds working as a wiring again I already showed you the SD would come in and sort of send SD to SD to all of the ends of the uh, switches and send them back to aqua, uh, the, the, the designated uh, points where you want it to go. Uh, there's one more another cool thing I'm going to show you how what can be done with this thing. In case you don't want to use potentiometer, there's one th one other cool thing you can actually up and down frequency with buttons. And let me set that up and show you how that works. Oh yeah, and uh, all, this, all, the, all the preset speeds, I think from 4 to 7 you can get from 24 all the way to 27 and the rest of the speeds needs to go from 132 uh, uh, to 239th parameter, so this is pretty much according uh, accordingly, but you can check that out in the manual, it's all in there, it's pretty much show you where that is. But the feature I want to show you is the parameter 59, which is a sort of a remote function selection. So by doing that, if you go into the... 59, not 49. Did I say 59? I don't know. So by selecting that, if you change that to 1, and then you set it, you go into mode, 
it has reconfigured some of, some of these uh, points in here, the RL, RM and RH. RH hasn't been really changed, it just doesn't work anymore. But ha what happens now, if you if you jump into a uh, external mode, if you start the system, as you can see the system is running, it's flashing down there. Now you can raise the speed by clicks of a button. See? So the button, your speed, is going up. By clicking the button, it just keeps going up. And the same way, by clicking the R RM button, this is by the way RL, and this is the RM button, it will come down. I'm not sure that you can see the numbers fluctuating, I hope you do. But pretty much your numbers go down all the way, you can go all the way to the stop. So you see the drive stop. So that way, if you don't have a potentiometer, you don't want a potentiometer, you want like a up and down buttons, like a so, you can do by just changing parameter 59 to 1. And that way, and I need, obviously, but another thing is, oh, I, I can show you, if you click this, if you click the stop button, and the following time you start back up again, it will go to the last memorized uh, frequency, which one you've done, with any of these buttons. So you can get all the way, let's say you get all the way to, actually let's activate my system down here. So it's a bit of a noise here now, because the motor is running now. So, I'm holding the button, it goes all the way up, I hold the nice button, it will go all the way down. That is a pretty cool feature you can do if you want to use buttons to go up and down. And that will be it regarding when it comes down to uh, multi-frequency. I hope this is uh, educational and helps you out getting where you want to get. And uh, if you like the video, please click like, support the channel. And uh, in the next video, in the next uh, set of drives, what we're going to be looking at is a bit more advanced drive. I will let that know a little later on when it comes to it. And uh, I will see you in the next video.